NASA's G3 aircraft out of Armstrong Flight Research Center will feed the world live video coverage of the eclipse from the west coast of Oregon as it begins its path across America. So we hope to bring that view through the eyes of NASA. We go out there and modify aircraft all the time so we can go out there and do NASA science. It's what we do. In the case of this aircraft, we've gone out there and taken the normal passenger windows and replaced them with optical grade windows, plus put in a telemetry system so we can go out there and provide real-time video. With these optical grade windows, it allows our photo and video teams to go out there and capture high resolution video at 35,000 feet to present to the world this rare event. And using this event to go out there and educate people, I think is an exciting proposition. All right, it's just about the turn. We'll be almost from a pilot's perspective, we want to make sure we get to the right spot, and also there are limitations for what our photographers can do. Roll out here. We pushed it as far west as we could go, so we could get that as early as possible and as low in the horizon as possible, and that put us uh, at about about Lincoln City, Oregon. Uh, which is the farthest west point right on the west coast. So we set up a, a holding pattern or a racetrack pattern right over Lincoln City. We know exactly the width of the totality swath. And with that, we did some mission planning again to make sure we know what the stall speeds are, the slowest speeds, the safest speeds to fly, the speeds that will give us the most time inside the totality region. Uh, we can slip the airplane. That'll give us some more bank angle, which lets our cameras see a little bit higher. All right, you guys ready to turn in again for a partial? All of those kinds of things were what went into the, from a pilot standpoint, planning this out. It's hard to be able to transmit video from flight, real time. The airplane, we put special equipment in that, and then that will transmit that signal down to a mobile facility uh, with antennas on it that, that we have pre-positioned, and that's a, that's a high definition signal that'll come down to the truck and then the truck can retransmit it out onto the, the wire. I think it uh, makes us proud of what we do and that we're able to share it with, uh, with everybody around the world in this case uh, due to the modifications to the airplane we made. That's what we do.